What's up, guys? Dustin, you here, back with the Calgary Flames GM mode. And I uh, sent down Ekblad. That was pretty much the, the consensus among you guys, so uh, that worked out. Um, I also found a random player. Here, I'll just show you guys really fast. Um, uh, he He's not even, like, signed by us, but he's playing for our AHL affiliate. So I decided to go sign him. His name is Zachary Davies. Uh, he's an 80 overall, 3.5 star right now. He's 26, so basically this is his last year to progress. But, like, look at his offense. He's actually pretty solid. So I'm going to leave him in the AHL for a year. Um, I did offer him a contract because he's, in, like I said, free agency. But, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, also, a lot of the consensus from a couple videos ago in the playoffs is that Backlund deserves to be the captain. So I think I'm going to give Backlund the captaincy. Um, and, yeah. Uh, the other thing is I got to check and see how much cap we're under currently because we got to offer somebody a crazy contract, basically. Uh, cap space, projected cap, team cap hits. Um, projected spent cap. What is, the, what is the minimum? I don't even know right now. Depth chart, salary cap. Hmm. I don't even know where the minimum is. I guess I'll find out. Because um, the thing was, I needed to sign someone. So I was thinking about um, a goalie. This guy's available too, Eric Gribba. Um, he's three and a half stars. He's 26. He's 85 overall. He's actually pretty good. But we don't have room for another defenseman, honestly. I have way too many defense right now. Um, I was looking at other guys that were up here. And, um, no, who did I go for? Uh, I went to sign Pasquale. Just to throw him in the AHL, you never know what he turns into. I, I offered him three years. Um, and I don't know if I did anybody else. I don't, can't remember. Um, I may. I was thinking about offering these one of these guys a contract. Because they're still pretty young, right? And they're three and a half stars. I mean, you look at uh, Granlin so far on our team. And he's he's like 77 already. And it's been a season. He started off as a 70. He's a three and a half red star. So his progression's gone really well, you know. Um, and then we needed to basically sign somebody. So I think I'm going to go with uh, uh, Johan Hedberg. You guys are probably like, why Johan Hedberg? Well, uh, he played for the Manitoba Moose when they were in uh, the AH, or Actually, it was called the IHL. It was the International Hockey League. Uh, that's when the Moose were in Winnipeg before the Jets came, way before the Jets came. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to offer him a contract and just oh, give him a one-way here. I'm just going to offer him a crazy, like, $5 million contract. The final run for Moose. Yeah, so basically he's just going to sit here for a year. He's going to take up cap space. He's going to be on our lineup. It's not going to really, he's not going to really do much for us, but it's going to be a big payout for him. He's going to have a nice retirement. And uh, the Moose, yeah, so basically when he came into the league, um, I, I don't even remember when it was. I think it was early, it was like late 90s, early 2000s, I think. I could be completely wrong with my dates, but... Uh, he went right to the Pittsburgh Penguins and made like a pretty good playoff run with them. And uh, they started calling him the Moose because he came from, obviously, the Manitoba Moose. Um, and one of the big things that they did in Pittsburgh during that time was that uh, they actually, because like uh, in Manitoba, we sold like these little uh, cutout things for your head that were basically like moose. They actually started selling them in Pittsburgh, but in yellow because obviously that's their color, right? But it was for him. Um, which was kind of cool to see because, you know, it's completely different. Like, you know, I'm not going to say it's a, a crazy far distance because Pittsburgh really isn't that far from Winnipeg. But um, it was kind of cool to see in the playoffs all these Pittsburgh fans wearing moose antlers, you know. Um, so that was pretty neat. Obviously, he, he went on to play with uh, a couple teams and then he ended up in New Jersey. And I don't, I, I think he actually retired, but I'm not positive. I'm not entirely sure what happened with him. I think he did retire. But, uh, yeah, I'll give him one last year here. And, uh, oh, yeah, I got to make uh, what's-his-face captain here quickly. Uh, scouting. Somebody got mad at me because I didn't scout in the dub. Um, like, I'm going to be scouting basically every... See, look, at Bo's not a, not a top 10 anymore, by the way. Whoever said that. I was actually looking because uh, these guys had more first rounds, but it's kind of dropped a bit, so we're going to go over here now. But, yeah, like I said uh, last time, I don't know if some of you guys missed it, but... Um, I put Jack Eichel into the into the system, kind of. And he's basically going against McDavid for the top pick in the draft. So I think that's going to be awesome if it actually, like... Because somehow it worked out. I was able to get 
my created player into the draft. So I'm pretty pumped about that, actually. That, like, I've never tried it before, and it actually worked. So pretty excited about that. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Um, we need to quickly... Where are the coaching options? Uh, jersey numbers. There we go. All right, so not Barchi. Uh, Backlund's, Backlund's going to be captain. Uh, Murray is going to be an assistant, and I think we're going to make uh, Larson the other assistant. Backlund, Captain, Larson, Murray. I think that's going to be good. There we go. I think we're going to have a pretty good run this year. Um, obviously, our preseason didn't go that great. Uh, we did lose, you know, a couple a couple games really badly, but uh, good. Goodlevsky's already got up to a 72 from a 71, so that's good. Um, a couple guys have actually gotten better so far, which is... Pretty decent. Uh, in the AHL, we have Nylander on the first line. I'll just show you guys really fast. So, Barchi, Backlund, Kuznetsov, that's our first line. Uh, Goudreau, Monahan, Gregorenko. I'm hoping these guys get better. Oh, wow. Look at Granlin's already a 79, actually. I think this third line is going to be dangerous for us, actually, to be honest. Uh, they, could only, they could actually be our second line, really. Uh, Stepnia, Colbert, Galliardo. We might actually, I might actually rotate these guys um, every so often just to see what happens. Uh, defense, Murray, Larson, Erickson, Brody. Uh, Pitkin and Butler. So Brody's already got up to an 81. He's a uh, three and a half reds or four four red stars. So he's still got two years to get better too. So you know, um, and then Butler I called up because I got rid of uh, somebody I can't remember. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I sent Ekblad down. <laughs> Had a brain fart there. And then Guzlevsky's got up to a 72 so far. So that's solid. We gotta wait for uh, Hedberg to sign, but I guess we gotta wait for that. Uh, Goudreau, Brody, uh, we're gonna just fix the shootout lineups really fast. Let's put Gregorenko. And then... Barchi, Backlund, Kuznetsov, that's pretty good. And maybe Monaghan. I still kind of think it's weird that Monaghan hasn't really progressed at all. Which is really... It's like, eh. I don't know. I was also thinking about putting, um... Pitkin in on the power play, so maybe if you guys want to leave me a suggestion for that, but for now, we're just going to leave it the way it is. Oh, crap, I didn't show you guys the AHL lines really fast. Uh, okay, so AHL lines, we got Hanowski, Byron, Byron, Byron and uh, Nylander. That's going to be our first line. Uh, these guys are all pretty solid. Um, if you look, like, Nylander's our top guy, and then we got Hanowski and Byron, so. Uh, Degasini, Sutter, LaRose. Um, actually, I'm going to put Janssen up there. Agostini, Winther, Loro, or, yeah, that, that's better. And then Ferdinand, Trump, Arnold. And then, uh, basically, our two top D prospects right now are Sealoff and Witherspoon, so they're going to stay there. Um, I'm trying to sign this Zachary Davies guy, because you never know. Like, he's got one more year left to progress. He might turn into an 82 or something. Uh, Olin's down here, and that's about it. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot of defense now, since we've called up a lot of them. So, yeah, Sealoff, Witherspoon, and Davies are basically our guys now. Um, and then McCollum and um, hopefully Pasquale if they sign. But, uh, oh, here we go. I decided to reject. Your roster is full. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, no. We have a full roster. Son of a gun. Uh, that's not good. Okay, I got to trade two guys quickly. I totally didn't even realize that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay trade players. Uh, we haven't gotten capitalized or penalized anything yet, so it's not really that bad. Uh, Ellers looks like a pretty good prospect, too, so that's good. Um, we got a couple guys that we can get rid of. Yeah, basically we can get rid of like a bunch of these low low players. Street and Billins. Let's just see if anybody will take them. Probably not. Oh, man. Nobody, eh? Oh, dear lord. Uh, who's got cap space? The Islanders do. Okay. Let's just ask for like a third round pick or something. Or second round pick. Oh, does any... Okay, I wonder if any team can actually take a pick for these guys. Okay, these guys can. I'm not going to do it first, though. Uh, we'll try and get a second, maybe. I don't know if this will work exactly. <laughs> Probably won't work. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Um, I'd like to get like at least a third if I can. Second? No, these guys can't take it. Um, you know what? We haven't been penalized yet, so let's try a third for them. No, 
Okay, how about a fourth? There we go, that works. There we go, that works for me, okay. Alright, so I'm going to go back and uh, just sign these guys really fastly. Sorry, I'll get into the sim right away. Uh, okay, well, who did I have here? Uh, UFAs. Overall, we were trying to sign Davies. Uh, he wants a one-way, but he's going to be a two-way player. Oh, now he's not interested in that. Okay, that's strange. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't even need to sign that guy. I'm not even worried about it. Who cares? We don't need to sign him. Uh, Irving Montoya. Oh, I didn't even see Irving in there before. That's weird. No, not Javi Buland. What am I doing here? Uh, Hedberg. There we go. We're going to sign him for one year. Sign him to 5 mil. Hopefully that works. Again, it's just the cover-up cap space. I think we're fine, honestly, for cap space, because I haven't gotten a message saying that we're under or anything, so... But whatever, we'll just sign him for, like, 4 million. Just for one year. Like, it's not like we're signing anybody crazy, and he's going to be done at the end of the season, so... He'll retire. Hopefully. 4 million dollars, okay. Considering my options, that should be, like, an instant. Okay, I'll sign with you guys. You know? It's insane. Oh, yeah, um, actually, one sec, <laughs> keep, keep remembering to do things, um, so I'm just going to go down here fast and throw in Pasquale, there we go, okay, McCollum and Pasquale in there, um, I don't have goaltender rotation on, so I'm just going to start with Goodlevskis, I might turn it on next time, um, but basically, I'm just going to split the games 2-2, uh, two losses, two losses, and we'll just rotate like that. Um, basically, uh, someone suggested that I don't over, overly rush um, Goodlevskis into it, so we're not going to do that. We're going to give him some games to actually ease his way into it. Sorry for talking so much, by the way. Uh, extremely. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, you welcome, girl. You welcome, girl. Oh, God. Uh, okay, let's give him four games. <laughs> oh, my God. 9-4? Oh, Jesus. I should have taken him out. Okay, well, we'll give him four games, and then we'll rotate really fast. <laughs> God damn it. This is worse than... We did, we did way better last year. Oh, there we go. Um, wow, we lost 9-4. Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. All right, there we go. All right, so Ramos in. There we go. Do 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 do. Ba da da ba ba. At least we got a win there. <laughs> I kind of have a feeling we're not gonna pull off the goal of 36 wins this year. Just throwing that out there. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, Tampa Bay is way too good. Tampa Bay is gonna be destroying everyone right away. I made some of their prospects like decent. Some of their guys were scoring a lot this year. Um, oh my god, are you serious, guys? Not even a win? Alright, let's keep uh, Ramo in for another one here. It doesn't really matter. Like We're just splitting the losses anyways. So. There we go, got a win. Yay! Ah, Goudreau's got five, five apples, though. That's good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'd like to, as long as we can get away without getting any overtime losses. That's what, like, made us into the playoffs last year, you know? So if we can do that, that'd be, that'd be pretty, oh, what am I doing here? That'd be pretty awesome. Let's go three games. Three games at a time. Ooh, nice, we beat Boston. That's a pretty big, pretty big dub for us. I think at this rate we should be able to get at least 36 wins, hopefully. Like, we want to at least get half of our wins. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, we're going to lose the Tampa. They're going to kill us. Wow, we won 5-1. Jeez. All right, Goodlevskis. There we go, baby. He's on a roll. That's what I like to see. Like, he's actually not a bad goalie. I don't know why he had such a couple bad games there at the start. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let's uh, do goalies again. Let's, uh, is there any here? I don't even know. Uh, OHL, a couple firsts again. Is there any other firsts somewhere else? Russia, Elite. SM Liga. Swiss, Extra Liga. DL, nothing. United States. 
Alright, so let's go back to the dub for another four weeks here. Oh, I totally skipped it. Shit. Shit. shit, 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 shit. Son of a gun. I can't believe... I, I hate when I do that. You just accidentally hit ignore. You're like, son of a gun, why did I do that? Uh, goalies, dub, four weeks. There we go. Okay, perfect. Back on track. There we go. Alright, so five and seven. Not bad. Not bad. It's all a process. You know, I don't expect to win the cup right away, but um, it'd be it'd be good if we could get one within a couple of years. You know, after rebuilding. So Goodlevsky needs one more loss. He's actually he's playing a lot better now. That nine four loss against Chicago, and now he's playing way better than he was. So hopefully he progresses a bit this year. Do do do. Oh seven three. <laughs> Damn! He was doing so good, too. So good. And then that happened. Uh, GM options. Edit lines. Do, do, do. Oh. It literally takes two seconds to switch goalies, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, we did, we're almost at December, anyways. You know, so. Nice. There's a dub. Yeah, like I said, as long as we can get away with 36 wins but no overtime losses, we should finish low. Like, fairly low. Which will be good because then we can hopefully go for Eichel or McDavid. Um, at this point, our decor is going to be just filthy right away. Um, literally, all we need now is forwards. Which, I mean, we have a lot of forwards, you know. But, uh, I mean, a lot of our guys that I haven't expected to progress have progressed so far. Which has been phenomenal. You know, it's just those final, like, pieces. If I could get McDavid with Nylander on the first line, you know, like, that would be so sick. I mean, we have Backlund, Kuznetsov. We have a lot of good young players right now, so. Um, there is definitely an opportunity to to get ahead here. Like, our team's going to be unstoppable in, like, a year or two. Once once all the guys progress. I mean, even uh, Granlund and... Um, uh, what's his name? Reinhardt are already 79s. Like, they were both 70s last year, and now they're 79s already. It's just insane, you know? So, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, oh my god, Ramos. Stop getting dubs, bro. Look at Monahan. He's tearing it up again. He's got 20 points already. Oh my god. I swear, he should progress. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I, like, I... Look at that. He's tearing it up. Oh my god. He got, like, he had, like, three points again. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. And our third line, obviously, Atkinson's plus four, so that's good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's uh, December 1st. We'll stop there. Yeah, uh, Monahan's just ripping it. Ripping it up again. He's going out for a rip. Jeez. Oh my god. Barchi's leading, and Backlund's got assists. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, uh, well, we never went to the Swiss League, so. Go back there, OHL, goalies, uh, month, there we go. Alright, so there we go, we're 15 and 11, which I did not expect that to happen at all. Um, did we get a win there too? Oh my god, yeah, Ramo's on a streak right now, god damn. God damn. Uh, we're sitting 8th in the league, which is higher than, at least we don't have any overtime losses though, so if we start bombing it a bit, maybe I can give uh, Ramo some more uh, games. Or not Ramo, uh, Goodlevsky's a little bit more games. Uh, we should hopefully lose a bit more, which would be good, because we need to get some losses right now. Um, <laughs> all right, so 26 games, Monaghan has 22 points, Gregorenko has 20 points, Backlund has 20 points, no progression for those guys. Goudreau, 19, Kuznetsov has 17, Barchi has 17, Brody has 15, Atkinson has 10, Murray has 8, 8. Uh, eight. Reinhardt with eight. Granlin with eight. Butler with seven. Man, even our yeah, like our third line's doing pretty solid too. They're point like almost every two games. Erickson's doing good. Man, our whole team's actually doing pretty solid. Um, oops, goalies. All right, so yeah, Goodlevsky's isn't really having a good year, but you know that's fine. Um, I need to get him some more games though. He'll he'll progress. We don't need to worry about that. Um, so yeah, we're we're obviously sitting a bit higher than I'd hoped we would be, but 
you know, once we get those 36 wins, I might just ride, or close to 36 wins, I might just ride Goodlevskis again. Uh, progress reports. I'll just do this really fast. All right. So, wow, nothing? Nothing yet. Oh, my God. That doesn't even make sense. I guess maybe it's too early. Like, I don't even know. That's insane, though. Okay, well, so far, no progression, but we're 15-11-0. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I'd like you guys to leave me some comments if you guys have any line suggestions or anything. I think, honestly, we're we're doing pretty good right now. Um, but if you guys do have suggestions, please uh, let me know. And, yeah, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.